No, I've always known. I've always okay. remembered. Um, my earliest conscious memories are from around two to three, two or three years old. And those experiences were not scary. They were fun. And I look forward to it. Um, so what that involved was three extraterrestrials and they were grays. One was a female. They would come down and they would get me. And basically what would happen um, is I would feel their presence coming, entering into the room I was in. And then I would feel my covers come off. And then I would feel a vibrational type scan from head to toe. And this did not touch my body, but it was a sensation that was kind of back and forth. And it was a, sense, a vibrational type scan. And then after a few minutes, I would feel my body start to raise up off the bed. And at this point, I would look around me and I would look down and I would see my bed was empty. And I would look over and I would be holding the hand of this female gray. And I would look down and see my bed was empty. This was not something that was, uh, it was not a dream. It was not an out of body experience. This was a physical conscious experience. And so this continued on uh, for the longest. And when I was young, it was playful. They can change the scenery around you. They can change how you see them. In other words, if I had been reading a fairy tale about the three little pigs, they would take that image from my mind and then that is what I would see. I would see myself talking to one of the little pigs or something of this nature, meaning that it was an image from my mind. They did not change into that, but that's how I was seeing them. So this went on all through my life. And as I got older and I was reading and I was watching things on TV and I was hearing things that other people say. And also the fact that when I was little, I would run into my parents' room and tell them, there's little beings in my room. And they would tell me, go back to bed. You're having a dream, go back to bed. So I support suppressed this for so long. And anytime I ever brought this up, my family would say, dreams, you're just having dreams. Just, you know, go back to bed. And, and they pretty much told me, you cannot talk about these kind of things in school or churches or around other family members, get togethers, because this is not something that people want to talk about and people that talk about things like this are put in mental institutions and not thought of having a, a, a good, healthy mind.